So again, good afternoon. So here we have a system or a DIY crate system that you can build at home. If you want to start or you get your feet wet in aquaponics, you can buy simple crates with which you can use to build your own system. So let's go through the parts. This is a crate, a sealed crate. This will be this will be used as our fish tank. Okay. And then we have the similar crate sealed also, which will which we will put a hole at the bottom. Can you see the hole there? Which we will use as our grow bed. So we put it here. There's a problem. No? How do we feed your fish? So you can solve that by using another crate. So this crate has holes in it, and then we'll put additional holes, one in front, and then one at the bottom. How do we put the holes? We use we use a, let me take it out, a saw. No? You can use a hacksaw blade or a, a wood saw. No? So you just mark it and then, as my professor uh, taught me when we were in school, you cut twice, measure once. Right? No, sorry, baliktad. No? You measure twice and then cut once. No? Because the crates are here, a little bit expensive, so you, you make sure you measure it first. You measure the hole you want to cut, and then you start trimming it, okay? So one at the bottom, and then one in front. So let's test it. This will serve as our stand. Put it in the middle. So now, you can already feed your fish, and of course, catch them or harvest them when they're, when they're ready. Okay? So next we have, how do we make the system flood and drain? So we will use a standpipe. So that's the purpose of the hole we placed at the bottom. So this is a male adapter. The male adapter fits snugly in through, into the hole. And then next we have a straight elbow. This is a straight elbow with a thread in it. This is a, this is a one half PVC pipe elbow for water. You know? so it's blue. So you you place the threaded part of the elbow into the threaded part of the male adapter, and then thread it or tighten it. There you go. So can you see it? There. Let's focus. There. So, it's already attached to your grow bed. So, this will serve as your bucket fitting and this will serve as your uh, pipes to divert the water from the grow bed to the fish tank. And then, how do we control the level of the water inside our gro gravel bed or grow bed? We use a standpipe. So, how do you measure the standpipe? This is just a rule of thumb, okay? So, the standpipe should be at least two inches from the brim or from the edge of your crate. Why is it two inches? Because the first one inch will be the level of your gravel, okay? So your gravel should be dry on top to prevent algae growth, okay? And then the next one inch from the brim will serve as your splash guard. So the water won't overflow outside your grow bed. Okay, so what will happen when the grow, when the water overflows outside your grow bed? No, so you will lose water, and your fish will die. Okay, so we put the standpipe inside the male adapter like so. Okay, the next part of our system is our bell siphon. This is a very simple device, so let's not overcomplicate the bell siphon. The bell siphon is just a two-inch pipe, an orange PVC pipe with a clean out cover on top, make sure it's sealed, airtight, and then a breather hole at the bottom to break the vacuum. So what happens? So when the water level, when the water level here goes up, it enters the standpipe, and because the bell siphon is sealed, it will create a vacuum. 
So it will suck in all the water until it reaches the, the breather or the hole. It will suck in air and cut the siphon. So the water will go up again. So the water will go up and down, up and down, 24 hours. Okay? So we put the bell siphon. Nothing special with the bell siphon. It's just a 2 inch pipe with a clean out cover on top of the stand pipe. Now, we're ready to put the gravel? Not yet. To be able to maintain your bell siphon, it's good practice or good design to use a strainer. Strainer is just a 4 inch pipe. How, do we, how did we measure or how did we arrive at 4 inch? 4 inches is the size of my arm inside here. So in order to maintain the bell siphon, make sure your hand fits inside it. Okay, so you can use a 3 inch pipe or a 4 inch pipe because I have big hands. I use a 4 inch pipe. Para magic, no? It's just like magic. Okay? So you don't need the O-ring. It's just an additional part. Put it here. Okay? And then because it's a strainer, we have holes. So the holes should be big enough for the water to flow, but not large enough to allow gravel or um, any particles to plug it. Okay? Or to enter in it. Then we put the cover. Okay? Let's recap. Hmm. Okay? To recap, we have the standpipe. Then we we placed we place the we place the let's focus the camera. Where's the light? Okay. We have the standpipe. Then we place it. We place the bell there. And then after the bell, we place your strainer. Okay? And then you can now place your gravel. After your gravel, you can now plant your seedlings. Okay? Now the grow bed, the whole thing goes up here. Okay? So the last part of the system is the pump. Okay, so in our system, we use a very small pump, a low wattage pump. This is only, what's the wattage of this pump? It's written at the back, no? It's 15 watts, so it's very small. No? This small pump will deliver the water from the fish tank using a hose. This is just a one half inch hose can buy in any hardware you put it inside the outlet of your pump and then the pump you put inside your fish tank and then the hose you create a hole for your hose on the side uh, let me look there there's a hole here and then you use a zip tie and then lock your hose in place okay so is it done? Not yet. Of course, you have to put water, fish, and the plants. Okay? So this is your uh, made DIY create kit system. Uh, very easy to do. Um, and I advise you to start small first before going into a large system. Okay? So you get your um, feet wet. So before, I, before we end this uh, session, this session is not for free. Okay? You have to pay for this. How do you pay for this session? You pay it forward. If you like what you've uh, seen, if you like what you've learned from uh, MADE, you share the information to others. No? Spread organic agriculture in the Philippines. Spread agriculture or urban farming in the Philippines. Again, thank you very much for listening.